Hey guys, it's Daryl and your only and the only police and will be we are back again with another YouTube video. New York City, New York City. You are now rapping, you are now rapping. With 50 cent, 50 cent. You gotta love it, you gotta love it. Welcome back to my channel if you're already a subscriber and welcome to my channel if you're not a subscriber Hurry up and click that subscribe button down below and click the post notifications beside it To get a notification Every time I upload a brand new video Okay, so basically in this video what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be slicking down my 4A slash 4B slash 4C hair um, I would very much like to say that I'm still a little bit confused around my texture, but I do have an idea that like in the front is 4a in the middle it's like more of a 4e 4b this very front patch is 4a and then in the very very back it's 4c um you guys can educate me in the comments and let me know like what really could be my texture but that's what i think for now the methods i will show you is very easy very sleek and this method will help your hair to actually stay down and lay down okay stay down and lay down so let's hurry up and get into the video <laughs> Okay, so here what I'm doing is I'm spraying water. I had um, previous residue in my hair from me slicking it down before. So I'm just putting water in it and I'm combing it through. this clip I part my hair at the back like the very low bottom of my head I don't really do it precisely because at the end the middle part is gonna cover it up so here I'm making the part to my left side which determines that my soup is going to the right side I eyeball it at first and then I clean it up after as you will see it was a bit hard because the hair was kind of blocking my face but I got the hang of it So here I'm just basically finishing up the part in a kind of jagged semicircle, but yeah, I bring it all the way to the right. Okay, so with this beginning piece, I'm just adding the gel and then I'm just brushing it through because it's a very small piece it's not a lot of hair so it's easier to manage than the middle part which you'll see me do next right here I'm just taking some water and prepping the roots to be ready for the gel I don't apply it to the ends because I still want to achieve my puff and when I apply the water it's gonna make my hair curly and it's going to basically shrink up As 
as you can see here I'm only applying the gel to like the roots of the hair and I'm combing it through just to like make it smooth at the top I'm not combing it thoroughly because I still want the ends to be poofy but I'm just continuously adding the gel to the top For this section is just a back and forth between the comb and the brush and then I go in with actually a finer tooth comb to like smooth down the top but it's just a back and forth between the combs and the brush. I must mention that when I'm tying back my hair, I only do it in two loops because I still want to be able to remove my scrunchie with no problems. And listen, my scrunchie gets tangled up in my hair for literally no reason. For the swoop section of my hair, I'm working with my hair as if it's a wash and go. I go in with water, then I go in with the gel, I comb it through by pieces, in parts, and then I slick it down. That's the difference. It's basically a wash and go, but getting slicked down.
I don't know where the part of the video went where I was using the style factor to finish up the look but basically you add the style factor after and it basically works as your spritz or your got to be spray and it keeps everything down like the pull mat is very thick and it keeps my hair down. okay guys so that's the end of my youtube video i hope you enjoyed and i hope you took in the tips that i mentioned i'm telling you this is a blessing so please like comment and subscribe please tell me any other videos that you want to see um don't forget to follow my socials to keep up with me outside of this youtube world and that's all for this youtube video bye <laughs>